Hey everyone and welcome back. Or if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Leia. Thank you so much for joining me here today. It has been a while and I think I've said that the last few videos I filmed because I have been very inconsistent with this. I do miss filming. I just, I don't prioritize it and I don't prior, prioritize the editing because I can't tell you how many of these videos I filmed and they're just sitting on my computer unedited. Um, but yeah, I decided to give it another go today. Um, it is September, kids are finally back in school, things have slowed down a bit, so <laughs> fingers crossed I can be more consistent. Don't hold your breath. I'm going to do a get ready with me today anyway. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. So. <laughs> This is going to be a hot mess and all over the place, but welcome to my life. It's not usually a hot mess, but all over the place and scatterbrained. Yeah, that's what we go. That's, that's what we do. Found my brush. It's, it's I'm going to put that on my eyes. It's not that dirty. It's just, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to do a get ready with me today. And I'm going to do an old school tag from like, what was it? Seven years ago. I think it said the old Jaclyn Hill fall favorites tag. I'm coming to you with that today too. Okay, so I've already prepped my face. Um, you can be very proud of me, all you skincare sunscreen fanatics out there. I have almost gone through an entire tube of sunscreen this summer. Um, it's the Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen SPF 30. Um, this is the sensitive one and it's for the face. I have a hard time finding sunscreens. There's something in um, sunscreen and some of them that gives me a really bad allergic reaction like I put it on my face gets itchy sometimes I break out in hives from head to toe and I am covering myself in Benadryl cream and taking um, antihistamines and it's an awful like four or five days until it goes away so I am very I tread very cautiously when I'm trying new sunscreens especially um, I avoid them most of the time um, but I did find one that has worked for me it doesn't irritate me at all it is this one i got it off of amazon it wasn't expensive i am almost done like literally it's just right in the cap there i gotta order some more uh, but i did i have been enjoying this it works really nicely under makeup it does give a slight white cast when you put it on but it fades pretty quickly so that's been nice um i've also been using not that i've noticed a huge difference using this or not but vitamin c hyalochloric acid no Hyaluronic, not hyalochloric, because we don't want to burn our lungs or anything. Hyaluronic acid. <laughs> I use it because apparently I'm supposed to. It's a brightening facial serum. Have I noticed it brightening? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I have been using it. And then I also have on the e.l.f. under Holy Hydration eye cream. I've been using that. And also my friend... Visine for allergies. I try not to use this every day because my eye doctor told me that if you actually use these every day, it can make your um, eyes react more. So I do have a prescription from the eye doctor. It's itty bitty. It's like twice as much money as this one, but I'm all out. I have to renew my prescription on it. Um, so I have been using this every day. What I was doing is I was using this like two days and then using this the next day just because I do need to use it pretty much every day, at least still. I haven't come to a point um, from the spring until now where I haven't needed it. So if you have watery eyes, these help tremendously, but I do notice if I use them too much, my eyes start to feel a little sensitive. So if you do have that, go see an optometrist. Maybe they can get you a prescription for eye drops um, that will help you out a bit. And that's what I have on my face so far. Oh. And I've been using the She Glam Jelly Wow Lip Oil. This is, it doesn't say, it's the blue one. I think it's a berry one. I don't know. Doesn't so matter. today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Um, it's an oldie but a goodie. This is what it looks like. I have no idea what shades I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to use Random Number Generator and I'm going to let it choose from these nine, well, ten shades, but I'm not going to use the black one because um, my eyes start to water. <laughs> Because they do water a bit even with the drop still. Um, but yeah, that will just be a hot mess. So I'm going to use random number generator and let it tell me what's going to be my main color on that. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to do the tag to keep things, uh, you know, interesting a little bit. Okay, start things off. I'm going in with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Okra. Ochre. Ochre. <laughs> not Okra. Ochre. ochre. Um, I just want to use this up. This is not my favorite eye primer in it. 
Oh, notifications. <laughs> this is not my favorite eye primer by any means, but I have it. I want to use it up. I much prefer the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. Um, the Milani one I like better than this as well. I just find my shadows don't last as long and it just feels so heavy on my lids. So, okay. So as promised, I am going to use Random Number Generator um, to pick out my main shade on this. So... Let's see. I'm going between 1 and 9, and it's going to generate, and it says 8 is the number I'm going to use. So what shade is number 8? would be the second to last one. So it's going to be <laughs> this nice deep, deep one um, radio. And this is a nice like, charcoal gray, kind of shimmery, a little bit of blue in there. So that is going to be the main color. Whether it's all over my lids or I just use it as a liner and go a little bit light, I don't know what I'll be doing. Um, but i got to figure it out quick because that's my next step. <laughs> I'm just going to set my, what's it called, primer with this shade right here. I have my mirror over here if you see me looking away. That is why. And I might have to lean into it because I can't see this far without my glasses on. <laughs> Where did I put my phone? Here it is. <laughs> it, it, everything's everywhere. It's just a big mess. Okay, so this was from seven years ago, <laughs> it says. And I remember watching this. Now, she did a couple of fall tags. I don't know if this was the first one or not. I just looked up Jaclyn Hill fall tag, and this is the one that came up. But this was one that everyone was doing. I might have done it at the time. No, I wasn't on YouTube at that time. I might have done it at a different point. I don't know but we're revisiting it. So the first one is your favorite fall candle. And if you remember back like seven years ago, everyone was doing Bath and Body Works hauls and everyone loved those three wick candle, candles and everything. Um, so yeah, it was a big deal then. So my favorite fall candle, hmm, hold on, let me choose my shades first. So I got radio going on. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna lean into this, these three right here and go with that make a look with that. Um, so my favorite fall candles, well, I really enjoy like sweet scents, but if I have them burning, oh my goodness, I am snacking all the time. I feel like I'm hungry all the time. So I've learned I can't use those candles as much as I enjoy the scent of them, especially if I'm home all day and I'm smelling that is not good because I'm, I'm hunting down cookies and if there's none in the house, I'm making cookies. <laughs> That's what happens then. So, um, but aside from anything sweet, I really like things that are like smoky and woodsy smelling. And so from what I can remember, cause I, I don't have any fall candles right now. I haven't gone out and gotten them, but the one that I remember I always really liked and they still have it is Marshmallow Fireside. Cause it's got that smoky scent to it, especially in the evenings, just having that going, mm -hmm. it smells so good. Um, so yeah. And then it's got that woodsy smell with it as well. Now, the one kind of sweet <laughs> scent that I do like, which is more, it's a Christmas scent, at least according to the design on the candle that I have. It's a butter rum or something like that scent. It's a, I don't know, it's got rum in it. I love that scent. <laughs> I love the smell of rum. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's not a fall scent. That's a Christmas scent, but... Yes, anything woodsy or um, smoky. Hmm. I like it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with, I wanna do smog. I'm gonna do this all over my lid and just do this as a line. You know what? I think I'll go in with this on my outer, my outer half of my eye and then the inner part of my eye. I will go in with the shade smog. The shade I did put on my eye is Riff, the one that I put in my inner corner. So let's see what. So the next question I have, I have it written down on a piece of paper here, is favorite lip color. Oh my goodness, I couldn't choose one because, hello, I had to use random number generator to choose the shade out here today, so that shows you how decisive I am. Um, but, can I talk and apply shadow? I wasn't going to put that there. Okay, we're just going to put this all over, and then I'll put the smog, the radio shade over top of this. Okay, so <laughs> favorite lip colors. Now yesterday I put these two together and I loved it. I would have worn them again today, but um, 
as much as it kind of matches my shirt on the packaging, it's more of a like a poppy red than an orange red. It's so pretty and nice. Um, it's the Maybelline Superstay in crayon in Laugh Louder and then the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in True Red. They look so nice together. I'll post a picture here of what it looked like yesterday. I had it up on my Instagram. I I put it on not thinking I was going to like it. I'm like, this is too bright. I should have worn this in the summer um, and I never did. But then I put it on and I gravitate towards more darker colors in the fall um, for sure when it comes to my makeup and my lips and everything. And I was so surprised when I put it on. And that's one thing I find about these Maybelline ink crayons. You really have to kind of see what they look like on because they don't really match the packaging on the outside. That being said, some other shades that I really like. I'm going to put this down right now and look a little weird because I have... <laughs> <laughs> whatever it's the name of the game right so I got a few other shades here that I do enjoy <laughs> so we're not picking one we're going with a bunch and you'll notice the theme because they're all very much the same so I have Wander Beauty and this is the shade front row so we have that shade there I have Mac cream in your coffee looks like that it's the shade right here. I have the L'Oreal Spice Cider from the Color Reach line. Looks like this. <laughs> it's this one right here. Oh my goodness. I have Maybelline Touch of Spice. This one has a little bit more of a purple tone to it. And I have the Maybelline Warm Me Up, which is lighter, but it still it has that cooler tone to it. So that's the ones that I kind of gravitate towards more, like the shades I gravitate towards more in the fall. I'm sure I have other ones in my collection. Um, and I'll swatch the Milani or the Maybelline. And again, it looks a lot more orange almost. Like it does match it kind of on my hand, but when it goes on my lips, it's definitely more of a poppy red than that orangey red. So I'm gonna wipe this off my hands before it goes everywhere. But those are the shades that I definitely gravitate towards more um, this time of year. The next question is your favorite drink. I don't necessarily have a favorite drink come fall. I just find I drink a lot more coffee. Because <laughs> in the summertime, I like the iced coffee. I make it at home like a cold brew. Um, but it takes a while. Like It takes like 12 hours in the fridge. So sometimes I just forget about it. And it's a special, like coffee thing that goes in the fridge for it and I don't always remember to use it so I just usually drink a lot of bubbly or water I mean I'm always drinking a lot of water anyway but yeah bubbly is like my go-to kind of thing in the summertime now or in or a cold brew but like I said uh, it's not instant with that if I don't remember to get it, put it together and put it in the fridge that it doesn't happen. Um, this is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Skin Soft Prime Blur in Hydrate B Hydrator. <laughs> Primer, I mean. I really like this. Um, it play, it's nice and highlight, hydrating, but it's also blurring. Like it does what it says. Um, I bought this because I needed something for clients with drier skin and not that I have dry skin, but I wanted to test it out to see how it works. It's really nice. I like it. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so I I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I don't like them, or frappuccinos, whatever they are. Um, I get stuff from Starbucks the odd time, but it's never usually based on seasonal or looking forward to a certain seasonal drink or anything like that. Uh, right now I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in the Lumi in the shade, what shade are you? N3, Natural Buff. Um, so yeah, it's just, I usually, where I normally have just one coffee in the morning in the summertime, come now, I'll have one maybe in the afternoon or one in the evening. I don't find it affects me, the caffeine. I don't drink toilet water, decaf. Um, so <laughs> it always has caffeine in it. Anyway, putting on makeup and talking, this is why I don't do get ready with me that often because it's challenging. And then I get chatty like this when I am doing it and not answering the questions. And then I cut out kind of all the fun stuff that I'm talking about because my videos are too long. Oh, what do we got now? Oh. Another thing from my phone notification. 
<laughs> okay, so that was the drink one. Now the next one is, what is it? Your favorite blush. Okay, let's do this while my face is like this and hope it blends out. So this is kind of cheating because this isn't necessarily my favorite blush. Um, I haven't actually worn it yet, so I don't know. But it's the one I've been most longing for and looking forward to wear because I bought it in the summertime. I have used this formula before and I really, really like it. Um, it's the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Sweet Mulberry. Look at this. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Like I said, I haven't worn it yet. I'm not even going to wear it today because it's not going to match really. Um, <laughs> but I am so excited to wear these. I got these for $9 at Winners, which um, if you don't know, it's a discount store. Like um, It's owned, I believe, by TJ Maxx and Marshalls and all that. I think, I think it is. Um, but I got it on clearance for like $9. These things you can couldn't buy in Canada at all. The only place I found them was Beautylish and they were like 50 bucks plus shipping. So um, I was excited to find. I got this one in that peach one. I love, I've been wearing the peach one. Love the formula of it. Um, actually, the peach one I'll probably wear today. Um, but I am so excited and looking forward to wear the, wearing this. And I do like these colors and these, are, I don't have anything in my collection right now that's like this. So I'm going to blend this out before <laughs> it decides to set. That was probably a bad idea, Leah. I'm just using stuff kind of from my shop, my stash. I have some stuff in here and I have some stuff in this one too. So I'm going to go on with concealer next. Hopefully... I have the camera sitting in front of me and that's normally where I put stuff, so now I'm having trouble figuring out where to put it. Anyway. Next up, I have the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in M150 Buff Beige. And I have dark circles, so I don't necessarily do the whole triangle thing, but I use concealer. I'd rather have it covered and a little cakey than my dark circle showing through. Okay, let's see. What's the next question? Don't poke yourself in the eye, Leah. Okay, favorite clothing item. Um, again, I don't have like a favorite item that I like, oh, it's fall. I'm looking forward to wearing it. Actually, I kind of do. My boots. <laughs> it's still showing through a bit there. Um, I have like booties, like ankle boots and whatever that are like high heel and stuff that would look kind of silly wearing them in the summertime. Like they're a little heavy looking and stuff. I love them. They are so comfortable. I look forward to wearing them every fall. Um, but pretty much like layers. I love my cardigans. This isn't covering that good. I don't know. Maybe it's just the color on my eyes. Um, give me a cardigan. Give me layers. Give me scarves. I'm for that. I love fall. It's my favorite season. I know a lot of people love fall and people are like, oh, it's so cliche. You love fall. Yeah, I love fall. So it is what it is. <laughs> and that's done. Okay. Now, because I've been in the whole cream thing, I'm going to do a whole face of cream and then put powder on top of it because why not add extra steps? <laughs> um, okay. I'm going in with the She Glam. So, what's it called? She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour, and this is in the shade Soft Tan. This is very gray tone. I know some people don't like gray tone. Um, it's a contour. It's supposed to be a shadow. I want it to be gray. So I actually really like this color, and I really like the She Glam cream stuff. They are the She Glam stuff is kind of what got me in the mood mood in the finally got me to start enjoying cream products because before it I would try different things and I didn't like it. It always would pick up my foundation and I so hate when I my camera stopped. So I'm not sure where I left off. Um, but She Glam really got me into using cream products. I really enjoy, enjoy them <laughs> because so often everything kind of picks up underneath. That's what I was finding with a lot of cream products, no matter how I used it, if I used a sponge, if I put it directly on my face, if I put it on my hand and then my face, um, it always did it. So <laughs> I find the She Glam stuff so blendable, so easy to work with. Um, and so, yeah, I really enjoy it. I like the colors and the tones that they have as I, oh, there we go. 
There we go. So, yeah, if you're someone who doesn't like cream products but you kind of want to get into them, even even though I swear, I'm just, they've been popular for like, it's been like the it thing for a while now, right? The cream products. And I feel like, watch, now it's going to be back to powder products and I'm going to have all these cream products, but I finally like them. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. I digress. I really like the She Glam. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, next, I have the same thing, the She Glam Sun Sculpts. But this is in Warm Honey, so I'm going to use this to bronze up my face. That was quick. Okay, next question. I already did the favorite clothing item. So yeah, my boots that I have, I look forward to those. And then sweaters, cardigans, and jeans. I just like being comfy, but not having to wear um, bulky uh, coats and stuff like that. But, you know, chub rub is real. And I don't like wearing shorts and skirts and dresses and stuff like that. So... I like fall when my legs can be completely covered and there's some like something to pro protect the chafing. Anyway, too much information. It doesn't matter. It's my channel. It's okay. <laughs> Next question. Uh, favorite fall movie. Um, what did I write down? My handy dandy papers. Oh. I don't really have like a favorite fall movie. I guess one of my favorite ones is It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I always end up starting to watch some of those Charlie Brown ones this time of year. Um, and then of course the end of November, which is still fall, we have the Hallmark Christmas movies coming out, which I thoroughly enjoy. I like them because I don't have to sit and necessarily watch them. I can like crochet or do other things while they're going on and I'm not really missing anything because I already know what's going to happen in the end. There's no surprises. Um, oh, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and this is in the shade number two, Fair. Um, but my favorite movie of all time, I haven't watched it in a while, but is Ever After. Love that movie with Drew Barrymore. It's just one of my faves. Um, so yeah, but otherwise like the great chunk, great chunkin, <laughs> great pumpkin, Charlie Brown or whatever it's called, that one. I have the Quo Beauty Featherweight Cream Blush and this is in the shade Halo. I've gotten on the cream product bandwagon, but I still find they are high maintenance. Like, why do we do this to ourselves? Okay, set my under eyes. I'm going to go in with this Visante powder. It, it's the Lotus Brightening Powder in 100 volts. That's the shade number. This, although it's not the same as my Catrice, I think I put it away because it's too dark for me right now. I have the Catrice, Catrice Light Illusion Powder, which I can't buy anymore. I love that powder for my under eyes, but it's too dark to use during, it's good for the summertime when I have a tan, but it's got a yellow tinge to it and it's no, more noticeable now that my tan has faded a bit so this is really nice it's finely milled it's a close second it's more expensive but if you're looking for a really good under eye primer or under eye powder this super good really like it um and then for my face i'm going to go in with my tried and true photo focus or wet and wild photo focus powder in translucent i am not a super oily person but i don't like feeling like the the creams, the products, the foundation on my face at all. I need it to set down, like set down and be dry. Um, and this does that for me without looking caking and feeling dry. Like I use this in my makeup kit. I never have a problem with brides saying, oh, I look too cakey or dry or anything like that. And yet people that are oily, this really holds the oils at bay. Having said that, I have tried a couple new ones that I got recently. I have the Fit Me in 15 Light and the Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, and this is just in transparent. These are these are both good. They're finely milled. Um, I think they they work very much the same, but they leave my face a little tacky. So what I'm going to do is, I like using a uh, finishing powder. So I'm going to see how that kind of works for that. Because even though this says matte, it still leaves my face slightly tacky afterwards. And same with this one. I think this one is. I mean, this doesn't say it's mattifying at all, which it isn't. So I think if you have drier skin and you want to set down your makeup, this might be a good alternate, like good choice. Um, but this one I don't find is it, it, my face still feels a little tacky after I use that one too. So I don't know for what it's worth. The, that's my thoughts. <laughs> Oh, 
a lot to say when I haven't been here in a while. So who knows how long this video will be. Whoa. Okay, yeah. It's snowing. <laughs> for those that might doubt my skills as a makeup artist, I don't do this for clients. <laughs> this is what I do on me. Unless someone tells me they're super... <laughs> Can you see all that flying around? Unless someone tells me they're super oily and they're concerned about it. I mean, I wouldn't go in this haphazard with it either, but... Um, There we go. Oh, it feels so nice. It just feels soft. It doesn't feel tacky at all. I don't like, I'm covered in powder and that's okay. I hate having a tacky one in with my hourglass ambient. Um, this is the light from a couple of years ago. Lighting edit sculpture palette. So I'm gonna go in with this and then I'm gonna mix these three highlighter things together just so that I can, uh, what's the word? Bring some life back to my my face from what I powdered over. It's a lot of layers, but it's what I like. So it all comes together in the end. <laughs> One thing you'll probably never see me do is a 10 minute makeup challenge. Have I done that before? I know I haven't done it recently because that would just, I, I'd rather not do my makeup if I only have 10 minutes because it'd just be too much of a rush and I really need to fix this because we got more bronze and less, okay. We'll fix that in a minute. Um, blush. Okay, so like I said, I have this Cover FX one. This is in the soft peach. I wore this one yesterday. Love it, it's so pretty. Did I use this brush or am I gonna use the other one? So pretty. I love this color. Okay, and I'm just gonna go in with this sparkly one just on the top and just kind of brush it down. I'm not going all over with it. It's just kind of, I'm not putting a highlighter on, so it just kind of gives me that little bit of extra glow. So I did the movie, right? Favorite fall TV show. I don't have like a fall TV show. I'm just glad that some of the ones that we watch regularly, like 911 or La Brea is coming back out for a second season, or I think Ghosts, the American version, is coming out with their season two. Um, the Neighborhood. I'm just excited that those are all back out again because I enjoy those shows and they're not on like a streaming platform for me. So they're things that I have to watch when they come out. Um, and then the next question is your favorite Thanksgiving food. I have said this before and I gross people out and I don't care because it's a family favorite. Gizzard stew. I'm not from the South. I'm not from Arkansas. <laughs> My family is Eastern European. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. I don't know, but we love us some gizzard stew. Um, <laughs> it's a favorite. <laughs> The only person in my household who enjoys it with me is my daughter, but we, we do like it. Okay, now we're getting a little bit patchy with what's going on here. I don't like that. As much as I love my eyeliners, I think they aggravate my eyes a bit, and that's why my, my eyes water more when I have eyeliner on. Oh, I just poked myself in. That'll, that'll make your eyes water too. Poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> oh boy. And then I'm going in with that brown shade that I used. Riff. That was very aggressive, Leah. And, oh, favorite Thanksgiving food. <laughs> I said the gizzard stew. I also love stuffing. Like, that's a normal thing, but the gizzard stew. Uh, favorite Halloween costume. I don't do Halloween costumes for myself anymore and personally for my kids I hate going and buying like an elaborate costume for them because it's a lot of money to spend on one day and here in Ontario most of the time <laughs> Most of the time it's like a downpour and they're out there trick-or-treating because that's just what happens But if it's not raining, it's usually pretty chilly. So they're covered up um, in their winter coats anyway so you can't see it so I love a good costume that my when my kids want something that I can just like do affordably or like last year my daughter wanted to be a minecraft creeper so I don't know something so I made like the 
head out of a cardboard box and um, then she just wore like a black skirt and black top with it which I ended up buying the skirt I think but it's something she's worn since so it was worth it but I hate having to go to like Spirit of Halloween or any of those stores and you can't find anything usually less than 40 or 50 dollars and those are the crappy costumes and then my kids just get upset because they see something they want and it's like a hundred bucks I'm like no I'm not spending a hundred dollars on one night for it to be covered up so <laughs> I'm that mom I got four kids I'm not spending $400 on Halloween costumes so if I can find a costume that I can make or get fairly cheap. This year my daughter wants to be like a princess elf or something like that so she found like the ears and the jewelry on Amazon which were pretty affordable and then we're just going to go to Goodwill to see if we can find a dress that would work for what she needs because I'm not buying a dress for that. She's not getting married. She's not in a wedding or anything like that so we're not getting a pricey dress but yeah um, that's where it is with Halloween costumes. Okay I'm going to finish up my brows and these. <laughs> My lashes that's what they're called wow oh and my lips what am I gonna put on my lips today I think I'm gonna put this one on my lips which was what socialite nope this one which one is this it's a dual ended one so this one is the front row not the front row front row okay and I'm gonna change my battery before this all goes out and then I'll be back with that done Okay, I am back and my face is done. To finish everything off, um, I did go back in with the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I put this shade Stranded in my inner corners. Um, I did the Eye Method Brow Pomade. Eee. Anyway, you know what a pomade looks like. I've hitting pan on it. I love this. Um, this is the shade number five. I put this in my brows. Side note, if you want a brown eyeliner that doesn't budge, this works really great as that too. Um, and then I went in with the NYX. Oh no, I used, did I use this in my brows? No, I did not. Why is this here? Where would I use go? <laughs> here it is. I used the NYX brow tint in ash brown in my brows as well. I'm going to separate those to make sure I don't get the eyeliner mixed up with my brow stuff. That would not be good. <laughs> um, and then on my eyes, I also use the Maybelline, um, what's it called? Lasting Drama Gel Liner. And the Age Perfect Lash Magnifying Mascara. This is the waterproof. It's not waterproof. It is a tubing mascara. If you're curious, I really like it. It builds really nice. Um, <laughs> my lips are front row like I said I was going to use from Wander Blue Beauty as well as this lip liner um, Bubbly Beverly and I have no idea what brand it is because it is all rubbed off already so if you have this and you know let me know <laughs> inquiring minds would like to know so that's what I did to finish off my face and then I sprayed it down with some of the Catrice glowy nope what's it called Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Sadly, this is my last bottle, and I don't know if I can buy it on Amazon here in Canada, so it is what it is. So that is on my face. It feels a little dark. I'm getting more used to it. I think I'm not used to wearing dark shades like this on my eyes. Um, I try and avoid it now just because my eyes still get teary, and then it just, this eye is the first one to look like a hot mess. <laughs> Um, so if I just go in like with a nice shimmery champagne type of thing, it's not bad. But anyway, I digress. Hopefully I can continue on with these um, get ready with me's and videos. I really enjoyed it. Um, we'll see what how editing Leia feels when she gets into it because sometimes that's where that's where it ends because I don't mind editing, but I don't like finding time to edit it. So, but I do have in my mind while I was doing this, I was thinking of a tag in my head that I could come up with with a get ready with me and I might do that another time so we shall see I'm rambling on now anyway thank you so much everyone for watching I would love to hear how you're doing in the comments below and I hope you have a fantastic week and until next time take care bye